Let's learn how to set up a printer connected with a USB cable. Before you plug in the printer to the computer, you will need to install the software that came with the printer first. Remember that the steps in the installation process will be different depending on the brand and the type of your printer. The printer that I am going to install is going to be a Canon all-in-one inkjet printer. This printer comes with the ability to print, scan, and copy. I'm going to install the printer using the manufacturer provided software. The software that we install is going to include additional software to help you use all the features on the printer. The first step in the installation process is to insert the installation disk into the disk drive. When the autoplay window opens, click the option to run the installation. I'm going to select yes for the user account controls. When the installation software runs, there should be a few options to choose from. I'm going to choose the recommended method to install the printer. Most other printer manufacturers will give you the same options to choose from. This next screen just tells us what is going to be installed. If you had chose the custom installation method, I would be able to choose the software that I wanted to install. Out of all of these softwares, the only one that is necessary is the printer drivers. The drivers are the software that connects the operating system to the hardware that you are installing, in this case the printer. Now I'm being asked to choose the connection method for the printer. I'm going to choose Use the printer via USB. In a later movie, we will take a look at how to install the printer with a network connection. I'm going to click Next to continue. I'm going to click Next for the license agreement. Now the installation has begun. During the installation process, you will be asked to plug in the printer with the USB cable. After you plug in the printer, the computer will automatically install the software and continue the installation. Now I'm being asked to put paper in the machine to make some test prints. Next, I'm being asked to register the product with the manufacturer. I recommend that you do this so that it's easier to warranty the printer if you have any problems. Now that the install has finished, you can see that it installed some additional software on the computer to help us manage the printer. On my desktop, there is an on-screen manual and a Canon solution menu. If this was my personal printer, I would have chosen the custom installation method and only installed the printer drivers and not all the other software. If you decide that you're not going to use any of the additional software, you can uninstall them by going into the control panel and clicking on uninstall a program. It is your personal choice if you would like to uninstall any of the additional software. I recommend that you try out the printer and the software first before removing anything. You might like the software that it comes with and leaving the software on there won't harm your computer or slow it down.